Hey guys, our first adventure on Squirrel Stampede is here. Hold, Hold on, on a second. second. Next so Table, it's Nexo Knight's territory. What are you talking about? Ninjago owns Squirrel Stampede. Sorry, we're late to the party. Minecraft is all Squirrel Stampedes. Nexo Knights defend! Ninjago! <laughs> nice to meet you, May. <laughs> I trained at Blockburg, Stanbrick, and the University of Master Builder. Uh. You're full of yourself. Uh, uh. Hamletta? <laughs> ah. uh. Hey, why are the big guys always included with the large, expensive sets? And we each have battle axes. Attack! <laughs> Bad idea, I just ate lunch. Uh. Alex, how are we supposed to control this thing? I have no idea! Back down, monkey kid! We've been around here for more than ten years in a movie! And we had three seasons and got cancelled! Yeah, I wouldn't brag about that one. You've run out of room, May! If that's your real name, I think not! Guys! Guys! Where am I? Whoa, I wouldn't stand on the drawbridge if I were you! Why? Uh, that's why! Wait, wait a second. Who am I exactly fighting anyway? I, I'm a little confused here. Uh, ah, it, ah, ah. Hold on, everyone. Stop this ridiculous fighting. Don't you see? The more we fight, the more the bad guys can band together and take us all out. Oh no, Master Wu is right. We are such fools. Garmadon is using this time to build massive armies. And Jestro and the Book of Monsters could only be using this time for sinister things. And the evildoers I fight can only be building sickening plans. I can't imagine what evil they are brewing. My turn. Owie! All too easy. We could do this all day. And no one will stop us. Squirrel Stampede! Please, like, squirrel Sherry? That cargo ship's containers better be full of acorns. On the table today, we are going big with all new Lego Monkey Kid. This is Monkey Kid's Team Secret HQ. It is an enormous cargo ship with so many things to do. It is massive. It is heavy. <laughs> What, what was that? <laughs> On the table, Lego Monkey Kid is here. Set number 80013, Monkey Kid's Team Secret HQ. 1,959 pieces with several Lego Monkey Kid minifigures. Who are these guys? Of course, meet Monkey Kid. May, Pigsy, Sandy, General Ironclad, Grunt, Roar, and Snout. How am I going to keep those guys in order? On the back of the box, what this amazing build will get you. A cargo ship of an epic HQ. I see mechs, I see cranes, I see living quarters, I see a cat with a mohawk. Inside the box, it's a doozy. Instruction booklet number one, number two, big with three, four, and five. Bag one, two, three, four, five. Six, another six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen and nineteen bags, but we'll just say twenty. 
and some very, very colorful stickers. Okay, let's talk about this while we build it. There is so much to explore. There's Monkey Kid, our first Monkey Kid minifigure built. And now we're going on to what probably is Monkey Kid's mech. There's always a mech, right? So there we go, building away. And moving on to bag number two, I would say I think I built bags one through nine on Saturday. I just kept building and building and building. You start with some of the simpler vehicles and things and then move on to the main cargo boat. And we move on to bag three. Now finally the main construction of the main cargo ship HQ. This is actually the back crane part. And I have a missing piece already. It's part of those pillars in the back of triangle support. And they actually gave me a one by four instead. So that was kind of odd. A switched piece, I don't know what happened there. It's very rare to have a missing piece. Right there I'm just having trouble in the build. I had accidentally flipped something but Everything was going good so far, and now we're on to the, uh, the second story of the crane, and this is actually a really cool piece, and I started to realize here that, oh my gosh, this set is so much taller than I was thinking it was going to be. I thought it was going to be longer, um, but sure enough, all these cargo containers and cranes and pieces, of course it's going to be tall, and I'm definitely going, whoa, this is going to be a huge build. Bag 5 is here, and there's Sandy, and I don't know much about Sandy yet. Uh, there is a cat that looks suspiciously just like Sandy, so there must be something going on with that. So it will be fun to learn about that. Bag 6 is here! Bag six, we're going to start building the left side of the boat, or is that the right side of the boat? Uh, depending on what side you are on, or is that port and starboard? Oh, I'm forgetting. I think port is left, because it has the same letters as left and starboard is right. Did I remember that right? I don't know. So anyhow, I think this is port side. Are we on port side? I think we're on port side. Um, it is crazy. You're going to have to keep flipping this around to get everything to go. So there's the side of the boat, and this boat does not float, uh, it is open, I think there's even a little sign on the box, so uh, non-floating ship, and I couldn't imagine it would ever float with all those cargo pods. And this part, oh this part actually is where one of the uh, side mini ships or flyers will kind of undock from the main cargo hold there. It's pretty neat as it gets together. Some stairs. Here is the Monkey Kids HQ um, living quarters. So we have a bathroom which is pretty funny um, and it even has a sign for the cat and there's a toilet in there and a sink and it's really quite cool. It all is involved in the blue section of the cargo ship. Uh, there's a TV and a couch. There's the couch um, and we'll flip it back around finish the wall there. And bag 10, there's the cat up top. Very cute, looks very suspiciously like Sandy. What is going on with this show? I can't wait to know. Um, and a cat door right there for the cat. It's awesome, I love a little key door on there. And there's actually another missing piece up on that blue wall. This is my second missing piece. Oh, and a kitty cat room. The kitty cat even has a room up there, litter box or something. focus. I think this is Sunday now. I think I switched over to Sunday maybe. I had um, split up the boat sides. We're on starboard side now I believe. Um, nice um, flat roundies on the bottom of this thing to push across the carpet nice and smooth. Um, and yeah you're kind of building another side of the boat which is kind of the same thing in some way but really it was still enjoyable. Um, sometimes Things like that can get, um, oh here we go again, but this was actually really fun um, and it's just a little different in certain aspects so um, keep
keeps you on your toes. I know, I know, zombie contractor. Hang on a second, though. I think I found the perfect spot to hide my emerald. There we go. That's a good spot. And there goes Alex and the zombie again. What are they doing here? Back 14 we go. Oh, there's Pigsy, I think it's his name. Pigsy. Kind of a cute character. I think I'd like to get Pigsy's food truck next, maybe, in the series of Monkey Kid. That looks like a fun build. And now we're just continuing on with kind of the same style a little bit as the first build, only now we're going to be more on the red and yellow cargo containers, uh, which kind of break things up. One thing you might be curious about, and you can kind of see that on the back, it's not like you're really building cargo containers that are removable. These car cargo containers are actually built quite solidly into the ship. You'll be able to take off sidewalls and pieces to get into them and look at them, but the whole cargo pod container does not lift off the ship, which may or may not be a bummer if you were expecting that. Um, but it does create an awesome HQ inside. This is the mech bay where Monkey Kid's mech sits, and it's pretty neat how it fits in here. Uh, the mech will actually lock into the back wall and fits well, kind of around a little uh, worker zone too. There's tools everywhere to work on the mechs and the vehicles. And it's actually, I think it's two floors here for the mech to hide in the red and the yellow container. Flip around, more detail on the set. There's so much detail that looks so cool. And another side pod, and there it goes. Now we're gonna connect it to the crane in the back and really make a hunk of plastic now. This thing is really forming into a bow. It's, it's spectacular. So now we're on to 17. This would be, I think, Monday now. I switched over to Monday for the final uh, few bags here. And there's Monkey. I like the little graphic on the side. And we're just kind of finishing up the details on the top of this boat. And look at the little um, red um, announcement speaker um, megaphone up there. Like that piece. This is the piece that's kind of in the middle of the ship in between the crane and the yellow the yellow pod, that's right. So it's kind of in the back, there's a little door to get in. Now we're going on to the sign up top, I believe. There's May, and May has two, uh, she has a hairpiece and she has a helmet, and I kind of left her with her helmet for most of this video, I believe, even though the hairpiece is really cool. Um, and then there is another bad guy. That might, was that ironclad? It might have been general ironclad. Um, but there's the sign. Always oh, tricky to get such a huge sticker on. Always worrisome. Oh, don't want to ruin the sticker. And there they go. So here it is. The boat is constructed. Whoa, it's huge. Look at that. There's the sidecars for the little vehicles. You pop in, you open it up, you drop in the mech, it snaps on. Uh, Sandy sits up on that hammock and close it up. It fits pretty tight. And there's the boat. A few things I could say about this massive HQ ship. It is large. It feels about twice the size of the four checks we saw earlier in the video. Maybe not totally in dimensions, but more in mass. This is a giant cargo ship build with so much. I don't even know if I can hit everything in here. Up front, we have a crab cooker and it is a gun with six shooter un below the deck. That's kind of a fun, quick mechanism to play with. Rotating down to the other side, we usually don't see this side very often on the box. The starboard side of the ship hiding Monkey Kid's weapon. Oh, there it goes. Open this cargo side open. And we have Pigsy's little boat ship. Rotating around to the back crane here. Nice tower up top with May right now. Little control spot for someone to work the crane. Higher up a satellite dish. And then the crane over here, you can move it around. It's got a great chain to pick stuff up with. And it can extend a little bit. Then back around to the port side. We have another bay to open and here would be May's little seahorse ship or something. Very cool. So plenty of stuff going on with the build. Planter boxes here, trash cans, a lot of pigsy menus here. And of course, Monkey Kid up top. We'll look at the figures in just a second closer. Let's open this up. It splits down the center pretty easy, just opening it up and we can take a look inside. Some of these elements of the cargo pods you can remove if you do not like them in your way. This part especially is a little odd. Taking this off, there's a nice little door piece there for in and out. I believe this central spot you can place Sandy in. 
for working on some controls here. And these screens are really funny. I can't really flip them around right now, but one has like Tetris on it, I think. And the other has controls. Back into the Bay of Mech, this thing attaches into the back wall. It has several points of articulation with shoulders and elbows. We've got stud cannons, fingers, hips, ankles. Great little center for the mech to live in. And again, over to the Monkey Kid living quarters. We have that hammock to place Sandy up top. We can remove this actually so we can see inside a little better. There's the little kitty minifigure looking just like Sandy. And over here is a little kitty house. Of course, we have a restroom inside with the head and the sink. Great little detail there, the TV. And this zone here would be for Pigsy's car. Nice little repair base for each side. Plenty of stuff to do in here. Up closer at your core team of Lego Monkey Kid minifigures. I'm assuming these are all the good guys, right? Monkey Kid looking like quite the hero piece. I like the goggles around his neck. Pretty cool Monkey Kid jacket. There's Pigsy, a pretty good looking Lego minifigure too. Nice pig head, nice pig jacket. Ooh, pig logo on the back of his jacket. There's May, she's looking very Power Rangers-esque. A green dragon suit. There is her hairpiece with helmet. And of course, giant Sandy. Look how colorful this piece is with the Sandy Cat. Not sure what the cat is, but I'm calling it Sandy Cat for just that second. And then over to General Ironclad. General Ironclad, pretty easy to see who is. He's got the shoulder spikes and a small purple cape. As for Grunt, Roar, and Snort, I'm really not sure who is who. I believe they're all the same. One of them has this little flight pack and chainsaw weapon. The other two are riding this cool little boat skiff with firing studs. All of these guys have very interesting faceless translucent orange heads. Not sure what's going on in those domes. And closing back up to the outdoors, we're peering inside the HQ without all those extra container paneling. Can't remember the exact sequence. Here's this back wall for the yellow and our blue roof. Missing piece right there, hope to get something to replace that soon. And our Upper Deck DH Shipping Company sign. And there we go with the massive Monkey Kids Team Secret HQ construction set. A little bit high in price, maybe at $169.99. However, with everything included, this might be the only Monkey Kids set you would need. It's literally packed with everything, even a kitchen sink in that bathroom. And literally, a litter box in this set. What a build, I'm glad I tackled this one first. Hope to see a few more Monkey Kid sets. There's more really interesting builds to explore, like the Monkey King Warrior Mech and Monkey Kid's Cloud Jet. And there it is in my hands, the enormous Monkey Kid's Team Secret HQ. Thank you so much for watching this video along with me and the build. Always super appreciative of your support on the channel. Hopefully we will see many more Monkey Kid sets. Thank you for watching this crazy HQ build today. And we'll see if we can find some more Monkey Kid this summer. That's what I have to say about that. Legends of Chima attack! Uh, sorry kid. That attack ended hours ago.